President who has lived on O'Rear Street for almost three decades speaks out saying he wants to move. Police say Saturday a woman was shot in the neck on that street. Alana LaFleur tells us about his worries. Alana. Josh, Latricia, Franklin Bryant says when he moved into his home on O'Rear Street, he considered it a nice area, but he says he's worried he'll get caught in crossfire now and he never imagined there'd be a police patrol car stationed there. For the last 27 years, Franklin Bryant has called this his home. It's getting worse and worse every day. But he's hoping he can move somewhere else soon. I hear sirens three, four, five times a day. At least hear gunshots once or twice a day. Saturday, Chattanooga police found 25-year-old Shatara Fisher on Taylor Street. She'd been shot in the neck. Police say it happened down O'Rear and could be gang-related, like some of this week's other shootings. I'm basically afraid just to walk to the store. Afraid somebody in a gang might uh, pass by me going to the store. Well, if you want, if you want to be in this gang, shoot him. You know, I might be walking to the store and get shot. Like I said, I'm afraid to even try to get out here and do any yard work or anything. Brian says once his mortgage is paid off, he's packing up and leaving. Realtors say buying or selling a house can pose challenges in any neighborhood, crime ridden or not. And knowing the most recent information could help. It could change daily. Sure. You know, so I will give them a source to go to and ask those questions. Normally I just say if you would call the police department, they can help you with that. And Chattanooga City Council member Yusuf Hakim says he doesn't know if moving will solve the problem. The reality is that we have to get these people off the streets uh, get a change of mind from them and it appears that we're going to have to do that uh, the old-fashioned way which is to uh, in some instances jail them. I talked to neighbors on other streets where some of this week's shooting took place. Most of them told me they will not move. Josh. Alana, thank you. Franklin Bryant says he put a fence up about a year and a half ago for protection.